Hi Capricorn, welcome back for your September reading. Now if you guys are new, click the bell because we have regular live sessions on the channel and that way if you find some of the material interesting and useful to you, you can be part of the live sessions and ask questions if you need to. Now if you are wanting to make a booking, you can go to the link directly below. Um, those of you who are return, hello again. Okay, let's see what's happening in your months. Now, the energy of what is coming through for you, crowning in the beginning of the month, is really, you'll be looking back over last month and you'll be seeing what was working and what wasn't. Now, you're continuing with that due to retrograde cycle, due to the clarity you're gaining from some of the feelings and the downloads you've been having. Now, when I talk about downloads, it'll be the senses, the feelings and the um, intense urges to actually address some of these areas in your life. So, the energy you're coming into is feelings of feeling unstable, but it can be uh, you're feeling agitated due to some revelations and aha moments. Uh, it can be things that have transpired last month and you're moving into this month with part of that energy and you're still working on that process of how to gain control and and make a foundation stable yet again. But this is the energy you're coming into the month with. And it's not saying that you're going to stay at that frequency. It's merely the aspect that you have clarity in what is working and what isn't. Now, in your passions, your pursuits, and your vices. Now, this is anywhere. This, again, can be energy that you are looking back over. Plus, it's how you're trying to reapply yourself to given situations now. Now, your chakra card that you have for this month is intuition, okay? And that is down to your, um, your uh, oh God, I've got to think now, your third eye chakra. So all the chakra points will be in a link directly below at the Hertz to actually meditate on. Otherwise, you can research it on um, YouTube and just create a meditation folder. Now, if you don't have time during your day, it's probably better if you feel intuitively speaking you're feeling blocked. You're aware that there's an instability. It can be an environment and a feeling you're having. Yet, to guide you, you're going to need to, to use your intuition. It may be uh, a 3D situation you've directly dealt with, but you're not quite knowing how to, you, how to stabilize it. Your intuition is going to be a key this month to actually deal with that area. Now, in the areas of your passions, this can be past tense and what you're moving towards. It can be where a foundation was faulty or that it was used incorrectly or dealt with incorrectly. Now, in some area, be it in business, be it in your love, you felt emotionally you had to make a sacrifice in some shape or form. Now, you're seeing the flaws in that direct area. Now, it's not to say you're removing yourself from it or it's ending. It's more highlighting that energy uh, for you to have a good look at. Now, by looking at it, it's going to help you take your power back to a point you can reapply in a correct format. It is theoretically a bit like in the retrograde season. You've got the magnifying glass and you may see the structure looking sound, but upon closer reflection, you're seeing flaws in it. So it's more you're, you have the footings and you have the building, but you are reconnecting it so that it's strong enough to last the test of time. And that's the way we are really applying our energies at this point in time. So at times it can be tower moments, and that might have already transpired, but it's it's really highlighting where you need to um, fine-tune certain areas of your life, your passions, your pursuits. Uh, it might be uh, vices that we use to cope with the energies, the, the heavy trigger energies that we're having at an emotional level and things that are blocking us from achieving our ultimate goals. So you might feel that every time you try to reach for the stars, you have to make a sacrifice and something comes up in your life. It can also mean that other people get positions before you and that's frustrating you. It can also be that for a family member or a loved one, you're needing to make a sacrifice and now you're trying to gain the balance and, and clear that energy to make it an equal give and take due to external circumstances. Now you're really wanting a fresh start, so you're wanting that foundation to not only be firm, but what you build upon it, you want it to be built correctly. Now the way in which you're going to do that is actually use 
the past tense hurdles and the past tense failings to reapply in a correct format in the here and now. Now, this is a month of building. We do have planets retrograde still, very separate, but again, collective energy. So keep gaining that insight. And any planets that are retrograde, utilize their energies to help you apply yourself to this situation. You might have doubt, but again, that's an aspect of a block. So if you can if you can actually find where that block is from, it's going to help you remove that aspect of doubt. The doubt might be the flaws in the plan, which is clarity, which is power, which is an ability to actually now go back to square one and say, okay, yes, I still have this plan in mind, or yes, I have this goal or this love interest in mind. Now, how am I going to direct my energy correctly so I can get from A to Z? In the area of your money, you're having faith in the situation, but again, it's directly connected to intuition. Third eye, okay? <clears throat> you're being asked to, through this month, through every aspect of challenge, adversity, or goal, breathe, okay? Take a breath and then listen to your higher self because it's going to give you the aha moment and it's going to help you move forward. So with this... You're using the wisdom um, and your higher self to move, move you through to gain clarity uh, when it comes to your finances. You're having faith that everything happens for a reason. You're also having faith that the road you're on is for a reason at a financial level. Now, you do want to uh, move forward. The energy, when you're looking at the money sector, okay, Look at this card in this way. Now, I'm an intuitive psychic, so images always stick out to me in different ways at different times. Now, for me personally, it feels like you have a bigger vision and you're keeping this energy very quiet. So the bigger vision is the moon, right? Now, yes, this can be a Pisces energy or a water energy, who you're working with or you're working with that aspect of that energy. That can be the personality traits of that energy in the way you're directing yourself towards money. Now, this goal in mind, it may be you're meditating upon it at a financial level, at a business level, however this directly applies to you. Now, behind you, what is haunting you, which is directly a block, because you made sacrifices in the past, you're looking at what didn't work. You're looking at flaws in the plan. That all these things here, you're thinking may be negative, may be blocks, may be things that just didn't work too many things on your plate at a financial level. All of these things are tools and they're also the cue to making it excess, success. Now, this is about using your intuition and maybe not having all the 3D natures of everything compiled in front of you ready to go, but, oh God, it's probably my daughter calling again, but you're going to have the ability to use that clarity um, through your intuition of the past moving through to the future, okay? Your intuition of the past is what's going to guide you forward and it's going to help you think of the steps to move through that process. In the area of health, you're making good choices. You're following your intuition. You're knowing that what you need to do is divinely guided as well as for the betterment and for you to have that energy to move through all your plans. It's almost like I'm feeling you're cross at yourself and you're saying, right, I'm ready to take action. I'm sick of this energy of everything being unstable and unhappy. I'm ready to take the bull by the horns and I will look at these 3D situations. I will look at these emotional triggers and I'm going to use my intuition at a balanced level and I'm going to stop not trusting and I'm going to start trusting it because it's guiding me correctly. And you're taking your power back, okay? So it can be if somebody had been taking your power away and you had to sacrifice yourself, which then directly impacted you, which could have perhaps in the past impacted your finances, your emotional, your spiritual stability, you're now saying, no, okay, I'm having a healthy ID check on these situations and I want to move this situation forward. Now, in the area of your money, it can be romantically speaking, you have plans with another person or you had a plan with another person and in the past that's triggered you. In your working environment, 
Now this can be what you're working towards or a three-day job. Now, the old aspect of pride comes before a fall. Now, that can be on your foot or another person's foot. The way you need to look at it is by kind of changing the energy to a point where you can say, okay, past experience, you know, you had to make sacrifices. That can be for you, your family, or the given situation. There was doubt in that situation, you know, in the, in the spare of work or movement. You want a fresh start. Some of you might have left a job. And some of you are looking at it and you're needing to communicate with a person in particular. That can be frustrating. But it can also be you merely reflecting back on past tense jobs and saying, where did things work and where didn't things work? And what is relevant for me right now? And how do I want to move my energy forward? Because you're having any aspect of faith inside yourself to be a co-creator. It might be that you don't want work to be purely just about money. Yes, you know you need it at a 3D level, but then everything you need will be given to you, providing you keep your frequency correct, and I will be doing videos on that. But you want it to be at a level where the give and take is equal. Spiritually speaking. <sighs> Guys. Okay, this can be many things. Trigger points from childhood can kind of alter your higher self and they can come up in chakra points okay now mentally speaking you can be thinking back because you've got the intuition card from your chakra all right and it's funny i picked up the card and on the other side it's visualization same thing it's intuition now you guys need to maybe what you are doing is looking back and spiritually speaking it can be where People might have cheated on you or people cheated you out of contracts or positions or you gaining your power back in your own life. People may have judged you. People might have sabotaged you. There might have been jealousy on your side or their side. Spiritually speaking, I feel you guys are looking at those areas. Now, if they do come up for you, it means, yes, they can be a block or an aha moment, but they can actually be utilised in a very positive manner. And that's to give you clarity for those footings in your life to move yourself forward. Okay, it was a false start in the past, and you're gaining clarity on that, and you're also gaining the tools in order to implement them into your life to get yourself where you need to be spiritually. Now, what you're not seeing, which is blocking you, Happiness is being blocked, but anything that's taken from you is given back to you, and it's being taken from you at the moment, not at a high level, but at a level to, enough to irritate you for you to take your power back, okay? Now, the unseen is that communication is the key to change this frequency, and also you will be surprised in the energy of the cause and effect of what's going to happen with that. Now, it can be mental conversations, but intuitively speaking, follow your intuition if this is for you. In your romantic life, again, if you're in a connection, you can be processing past tense situations and thinking, God, is a 3D relationship in this day and age meant to last a lifetime? It can be that you're psychoanalyzing aspects of relationships and we all do at some point kind of go, okay, what's my, my, what's my conditioning connected to this? What's my mindset? What's my attitude coming into connections? Even if you currently are in a connection, it doesn't mean this is your opinion of this 3D nature of the relationship, especially when we're in retrograde <laughs> because some of the planets are, when, we, when we're in retrograde in that direct area, it can be our intuition, our past. So it's not that that's your opinion of the 3D relationship, more so you're reflecting of a 3D situation from the past and how to correct the energy for the footings of this relationship. But it can impact you at a vibrational level. Now, if you are directly looking at this relationship, it can be you seeing and feeling that it's not going to last and it's feeling unstable. And that's for some of you. Because the month energy you're coming in with is a reality check of where things are and where things aren't stable. Okay, you're trying to be fair and understanding about this situation, but you're also trying to be quite mature about it too. And if you are single and you're waiting for someone to come in and it is a soulmate or a twin flame connection, you're doing reflection. This can be communication with the person directly, uh, especially since there's surprises coming and conversations. 
on top of that it can be that you know you're processing that at a mental level you know with your intuition but again you're talking about or feeling about or sensing aspects of loss and what you're really wanting is the big 10 out of 10 in commitments and relationships but you're looking at your side you're looking at their side and you're learning something from the situation now what they're currently doing is they knew this was going to transpire so if it was energetically you spiritually weren't quite ready or they weren't quite ready both of you energetically had some learnings to do um if that's even a word uh you spiritually were growing okay you were evolving to a next level you needn't be harsh on yourselves, although you may feel at this point you're feeling quite, you know, harsh towards yourselves or towards the other, however it's going to sit. They're actually realising where they knew something was going to happen and it was due to an energy going on in their life that they weren't applying themselves in a correct manner. They perhaps were too focused on their job or their money or other things other than the direct connection and that can even be if you're in the relationship with them now they're saying this and it can be that both of you are concerned over that but it is going to be a swift change so the aha moment for be it coupled or single there is going to be a swift change now if you are wanting a booking you can go to the link directly below i'm also trying to do birthday readings via the website so for that month, um, if it's your birthday, keep an eye on the website, jump through and have a look. We also do have on the website the Birthday Club and that does give you uh, an ability to sign up to it and you can get discounts on any Skype or telephone or any style readings. But at a cheaper price, I will be doing pre-recorded videos as an extension uh, for the actual um, element for their birthday sign on that given month. So it'll be September babies, October babies, etc. You know, all of those birthday readings are going to be via the website. So again, welcome and I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you later.